Okay, guys, uh, leading the panel, delivering the key or not address, uh, and I would request you to keep this short because we are massively, massively late. Uh, please welcome on stage Piyush Rai. He's the CTO of Canvera.com. Piyush's passions lie in applying technology to solve real world problems. Is that a college applause? This is that college applause. Uh, they don't want you here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> they don't want you to speak. <laughs> uh, he has more than 18 years of experience in developing and delivering software products and solutions. Piyush has also worked for a number of startups in Silicon Valley before he founded Canvera with the intent of delivering world class photography products and services to the Indian market via an integrated online platform. I believe you raised a very, very large round just recently. It depends. What large for me. Large for me. <laughs> he loves to keep abreast of latest technologies and gadgets. He's a sports enthusiast, plays cricket, runs marathon, and hikes. You don't play golf. How did you raise money? <laughs> I, I, I hired a CEO for that. Okay, but he's an alumnus of IIT Mumbai. See, that explains it. And uh, he'll deliver the keynote, and then we'll introduce the rest of the panelists. So over to you, Piyush. Thank you. So I think my uh, colleagues are going to join me shortly. Uh, we will uh, get started with the general, uh, you know, I'll just generally talk about uh, clouds first, and then we'll get into the three companies, and I'll also give you an overview of Canvera. Uh, you know, uh, there was a very interesting video on Facebook about uh, a politician explaining what clouds are. I don't know if you guys saw that, but uh, you know it was really, really hilarious. Unfortunately, our talk here is not going to be as interesting, but you know, we'll try to keep you guys awake. So, uh, you know, uh, cloud is, as a term has been you know used very often nowadays, but the concept actually has existed uh, for about ten years or so. Uh, essentially, if I were to define it in like one sentence, you know. It's computing resources or application functionality or content being delivered via a remote network. And that network could be a private network or a public network. So that's what essentially a cloud is. I'm sure all of you are aware of the, uh, you know, the term and understand it in different ways. Uh, you know, over the last 10 years, we have seen several types of models that have emerged in this cloud-based delivery. You know, SaaS has been... Uh, uh, one of the oldest ones, you know, Salesforce.com was one of the first companies uh, which has been massively successful that actually was in the forefront of delivering applications, uh, business applications over the cloud. Uh, and then, you know, after that uh, or alongside that, there were several other models that came out, uh, infrastructure as a service, storage as a service, uh, and, and so on. You know, there are several... Uh, you know, nowadays it's like, uh, every, you know, platform as a service. So there are so many flavors of delivering stuff over the cloud. And, uh, you know, uh, I'll talk about the benefits of why one chooses a cloud-based delivery model and why uh, you as a probably a consumer of the cloud, what benefits you might get based on that. Uh, it's a, uh, you know, from a revenue model perspective, uh, it allows you to charge uh, your clients uh, smaller amounts upfront, so that's one advantage because you can scale by the the need of the client. So you can grow the revenues with the client, with your customers, and uh, uh, of course you know the manageability headaches kind of go back. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. But uh, you know let's take some popular examples of cloud. You know that hopefully will give us a perspective of uh, how different you know in today's world how uh, you know some of the companies have been using it very very effectively. So Salesforce is something I talked about. Um, Amazon, as you guys know, right? They have the S3 and the AWS. You know, that's infrastructure as a service, and that has really scaled and it allows uh, uh, you know IT departments and developers to really you know get computing and storage resources uh, you know without paying much upfront. You know, it's like as your needs increase, you can keep on uh, scaling up with them. So that's very effective and very, very um, uh, efficient for startups, right? Uh, then you have, you know, the big guys, the Apples and the Googles. Uh, Apple with iTunes and the content being delivered through iTunes. I mean, that has just, as you guys know, has changed the entertainment uh, uh, delivery uh, and it's continuing to evolve. Uh, you know, earlier you had to buy a CD uh, with 14 songs out of which you liked only three maybe. And now you can buy one song for 99 cents or whatever. And that model is being replicated now in other parts of the world as well. Uh, Google with their Google Apps, Gmail, 
you know, so all these, uh, you know, uh, it has become so such an integral part of our uh, lives these days, you know, where you don't have to really worry about uh, software or, you know, buying a hard disk or, uh, uh, you know, worrying about uh, installation or upgrades. It's all done, you know, via the cloud. And that's that's the main, ad you know, uh, advantage. Netflix is another example. They, they are streaming movies. You know, it's completely changed. You know, we, we in India, we don't feel uh, the effect of those kind of uh, deliveries yet, but we will soon see that. But in the US, uh, I mean, these things have just completely changed the way things are consumed by the consumer, right, through the devices or through your browser or whatever it is. It's a, it's a very, very effective way of delivering. So, uh, you know, uh, as internet becomes more and more uh, ubiquitous in, in, in the world, uh, cloud-based services are going to continue to grow and uh, it's just going to uh, essentially become an integral part of our uh, ecosystem, you know, from a technology standpoint. So, uh, you know, for today's startups, the advice is to really look at how to ut utilize the clouds and uh, the cloud-based infrastructure or cloud-based services and, and uh, you know, it, it's, not, it's not always a slam dunk that you know you have to use it or you don't have to use it i have some examples where we were not able to use cloud based services but uh, you know if you can then you should sure so uh, i think the three key main ad key advantages of uh, you know delivering stuff via cloud as i said the upfront cost right is is minimal you can you can have a variable cost model so as your needs grow as your business grows you can start investing more and more uh, you know, we, uh, our company, we signed up for Google Apps for our uh, email and uh, internal communication. And up to 500 users, we didn't have to pay a single dollar. And, you know, after that, you pay as you go. So that's, that's very effective. Time to market is another uh, major advantage uh, because you don't have to, you know, set up the whole infrastructure. You don't have to hire people to manage it. So you can get up and, uh, get up and running very, very quickly. That's the second advantage. And, and third is uh, basically you know, the, the maintenance and the upgrades and you know, all those things become uh, transparent to you. So uh, you know, this is, this is uh, the advantage. And, uh, but as I said, you know, the cloud, uh, the consideration for procuring a cloud-based offering or, or delivering has to be very, very uh, carefully done. Because if you have, for instance, sensitive data that you want to manage, you may, cloud may not be the best option, or maybe a private cloud might be an option. So that has to be thought through. Uh, so with that kind of a context, you know, I'll uh, briefly introduce uh, my own company, uh, Canvera.com, and then uh, maybe you guys can uh, join uh, the stage now. So we have three companies, three other companies today uh, who are working on either the delivering via the cloud or actually delivering solutions for companies that provide cloud-based services. So I'll give you a brief introduction of Canvera. Uh, we are uh, basically, we started in 2007, so we are about five years old. Uh, we are venture funded. We have raised uh, two rounds uh, through three investors. And uh, uh, you know, our story is we are basically an online uh, platform uh, for photographers. And that's an area which, you know, unless you are actually involved in it, you don't really uh, understand the nuances, but I'll give, try to explain it in a simple manner. So photography, I mean, everybody does photography, everybody is a photographer, but really there are, you know, in our context, there are two categories. One is a casual photography, which we all do on our phones, we take pictures and we share it on Facebook. And then there is a serious photography, which the professional photographers or if you have a special event in your uh, family or you know in your college or friends whatever it is that serious photography where you actually want to do something with those pictures so our business focuses on the second part uh, we do have solutions for the first part also but uh, you know uh, when you're trying to take pictures and build something with those pictures or or create something with those pictures which is maybe a tangible output so in our case one of the tangible outputs is a uh, a, a coffee table book, which the photographers can design. Uh, another tangible output is a great looking online gallery or a website that photographers design for their clients. And then thirdly, of course, sharing it. So, uh, you know, when, when you get to the serious photography, there is, uh, the money is there basically, because nobody today, very few people would, for casual photography, uh, do printing and pay for the prints, right? It's all shared virtually. 
but the serious photography market is a huge market uh, all over the world and also in india you know weddings is a huge huge segment for us uh, there are 10 million weddings that happen in india every year and uh, you know most uh, middle class and upwards uh, wedding they have a, a, a photo book that uh, we call it a photo book or a wedding album that is created and that has a very high transaction value so that's our core business where we you know we address the needs of uh, serious photographers and so you know just to make you understand the 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 cloud based delivery model that we have built so once the photographer takes the pictures uh, they have to follow like five or six very complicated steps to deliver and get paid by their clients so the first step is really uh, uh, processing of the images you know the the images that are there in their camera are not usable uh, as it is right uh, they have to be post processed there are there's color correction cropping enhancement you know bunch of things then they have to uh, have products designed when i say products designed even to design a let's say um, animated slide show using your using the pictures or designing a coffee table book using the pictures so there is a design involved there and that requires collaboration with designers because photographers are not designers themselves so they need to engage with a designer to design these products and then thirdly um, the the client the end customer has to proof whether okay you know oh you didn't this is my uncle's picture and he's very important in our family so you didn't include it in this design so please can you change the design type of thing so there is a collaboration with the end client and then finally the the delivery of that product so whether it's a delivery online or whether it's printed or in some other manner you know tomorrow you'll you'll have google tv apple tv tablets you know so it's delivered on those platforms so our company basically has built an online platform that enables the photographer to take the pictures upload the pictures on our platform once and then our platform takes over the entire workflow the collaboration the publishing the sharing uh, that's what we do for the photographers and they pay us based on a transaction kind of thing so that's uh, uh you know that's how we uh, our business works uh, it's all on the cloud uh, there are uh, some services that that they, they we deliver on the private cloud and then there are some services that are on the public cloud uh, the the key uh, value proposition to the photographer is once they have their images on our cloud then they don't have to worry about uh you know transferring pictures from here to there and and you know uh for professional photography especially the amount of data that is generated by pictures is huge we basically manage hundreds of terabytes data per month so that requires us to create a really really robust infrastructure on the back end and uh, keep it secure keep it uh, you know reliable available you know all those good things so what challenges have we faced uh, you know in scaling up one i just mentioned uh, uh hundreds of terabytes of data you know professional photographers have these high end cameras and the megapixels are growing every day so the file sizes are really huge and uh, we need to be uh, able to handle those files uh, you know for the for the entire workflow so you know if you want to show it on the website or you want to use it for printing or uh, uh, create slide shows from it so it's a it's a lot of back end processing that we do and so we have the technology we have created the technology to do all that um and uh, second challenge is of course you know the collaboration piece so now you're talking about three people uh, three sets of people you know the designers the photographer and the end consumer they are all at different places sometimes the designers are in a different city and they are all collaborating on this on our online platform using the applications that we have so that managing that entire workflow and you know sometimes people are really finicky you know there's a lot of back and forth feedback so we built the technology for an efficient collaboration amongst these three parties which is pretty intensive actually it sometimes takes days to get a design done uh, and thirdly you know the e-commerce part so after uh, after the products are ready the, there is a sale that happens so the photographer sells the products to the uh, to the uh, to their clients and clients go and pay online and we have to manage uh, the the collection of payments from the from the clients and then pay to the photographer and then there is a reconciliation so it's a complicated thing and we are able to manage it because we have it centralized uh, within our uh, you know public cloud and photographers don't have to worry about those things so that's how our business model is uh, 